Hey, did you know that women are statistically less likely to receive life-saving CPR than men? Why is that? Well, that's one of the reasons cardiovascular disease continues to be the number one killer of women in the United States. We've talked about it. February, in fact, American Heart Month. We're continuing to try to raise awareness about this. Other heart health issues in adults as well. Our Kelly Hubbard joining us live this morning with the experts. Kelly, all right, what are the doctors uh, telling you about our heart health right now? Good morning to you, Matt. Like you said, the women, it impacts so many women right here in the United States, but also men. Just kind of everyone, heart disease is a long leading cause of death in the United States. So it's something that we're focusing on all month long. And joining me here is Dr. Stephen Kelly. He is an interventional cardiologist at the Baton Rouge Cardiology Center. Good morning to you. Good morning. How are you doing this morning? We are doing great. How are you? Love the tie. Oh, appreciate it. Appreciate it. So when it comes to heart health this month, what are some of those statistics, some of the latest statistics you've been finding? Oh, yes, I think it's very important uh, that, you know, because, like you said, it's the number one killer. Every 30 seconds, someone may have a heart attack. Every three and a half minutes, someone may have a stroke. So I think if you're at risk, uh, we definitely want to emphasize, you know, people who have high blood pressure, long-standing diabetes, cholesterol, smokers, and family history, get yourself evaluated early because we always say it's better for me to find a problem than the problem to find you. So. And if people don't know what heart disease is, how can you define it? Yeah, heart disease can be multiple things. It could be a problem with blockages in the heart arteries. You could have problems where the heart muscle is not functioning like it, like it normally should. We call that a cardiomyopathy. You could have heart valve problems. You could have peripheral vascular disease. So the list goes on and on. So that's why we stress that if you are at risk of having any of these things to get yourself evaluated early. So. Very important information to keep in mind. Coming up at 532, we have an echo, one of those ultrasounds that kind of checks the heart. We'll be expanding more on women's uh, heart disease as well. Guys, Dr. Steve, we're going to send it to you.